If you recently had error code 0x8007007 be show up, don't panic. We're going to go over 5 solutions on exactly how you can fix it. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to make sure you have all the information you need to solve error 0x8007007 b properly. What causes error code 0x8007007 b? There are several culprits for this error message to appear. Number 1. An anomaly occurred when an operating system tries to automatically update in repetition online which may lead to product key capping. This can be a possible conflict of your distributed product key which requires installation of multiple activation key, MAK. Number 2. License authentication error due to possible unlicensed software. Number 3. Incomplete software installation or possible missing or corrupted software component. Number 4. Cannot connect to server or key management service, KMS, host to provide full functionality for your operating system. How does error 0 x 800707 b affect your computer? Depending on which Windows version you are using, it usually shows a message like this. Error 0x800707 be the file name, directory name, or volume label syntax is incorrect. This can be an indication that there was a system malfunction inside your Windows OS which can make your operating system load incorrectly, freeze, or worse, unbootable. We have listed some ways on how to troubleshoot this error and we can assure you it will not require much tinkering of your computer. We present various solutions that can help fix this kind of error message and what processes are involved. All of these solutions will work on different versions of Windows. Please follow the steps exactly as instructed. Solution number one, the software licensing management tool, SLMGR. Number one. Let's begin by clicking the start menu on your desktop or press Windows key plus R, then go to the search bar beneath and type CMD. It will give you the search results for the command window application. Number 2. Right click and choose to execute it in administrator mode. A message prompt will show up. Just hit yes. This will give you administrator access to the command prompt. Number 3. Type this command SLMGR, IPK along with your 25 alphanumeric license key. Hit enter then wait for confirmation. Example. Number 4. You will receive a confirmation that the product key was installed successfully. Number 5. To check, go to start and look for settings. Go to Update and Security and look for Activation. Under the Activation Details, you see that Windows is already activated with a digital license linked to Microsoft if successful. The purpose of this procedure is to reinsert the product key license directly to the configuration files using the SLMGR tool. Solution number 2, using the SLUI3 command. Number 1. Click the start menu then go to the search bar beneath and type cmd for the command window. Number 2. Right click it and select again in administrator mode then select yes. Number 3. Type the command slui3 at the command prompt window then press enter. Number 4. It will open the windows activation window. Enter the product key then click activate. Number 5. Reboot your computer and check if activation is successful. You can alternately use on your desktop the run command by pressing Windows plus R key and just type SLUI3 instead. It will produce the same results. This is an alternative solution to launch the graphical interface of the activation window to put the license code directly and have it registered. Solution number 3 using the Windows Repair Tool. Number 1. 
Click the start menu then go to the search bar beneath and type cmd for the command program window. Number 2. Right click it and select to run as an administrator then select yes. Number 3. Type this command on the command prompt then hit enter to start the scanning process, SFC, scan now. Number 4. Wait for the scan to complete at 100% and it will show the system errors that need to be automatically repaired. Number 5. Reboot your computer. Number 6. Perform another Windows activation by clicking Start, then go to Settings. Number 7. Click on Update and Security and follow the on-screen instructions at the activation panel. You can also use the Activation Troubleshooter to help you activate your Windows product. Windows Repair Tool is a built-in program that can scan and diagnose software issues and repairs them instantaneously. Once accomplished, this process can restore the OS settings and updates to prepare it for reactivation. Solution number 4, Contact Microsoft for Advanced Solution. If the following solutions above do not work, Microsoft Technical Support will have your back. Visit their official Microsoft Support page and contact Microsoft for product activation assisted support. A representative can help you in performing product key activation depending on which country you reside in. They also have a self-service page for software support. While the Microsoft support team will be able to assist in terms of providing the key needed, they will be able to validate if your existing key was blocked due to usage abuse or if the product key is a valid one. Solution number 5, using a third-party software application. Download the software at the link. Errorcodestop.com slash repair. Install the file and launch the program, and follow the instructions. This is great for people that are not comfortable performing OS troubleshooting. This software can diagnose potential program errors and anomalies but also can help optimize your PC performance, improve security against malicious programs and address other PC problems such as driver conflicts. Additional tips to prevent error message 0x8007007 b Whenever you perform Windows OS installation, Always make sure you get their genuine licensed product to save you from unexpected system errors and crashes. Always perform software updates. Never disable it from your system settings. When performing Windows OS activation, make sure your computer is connected to the internet and has a stable connection. Make sure your hardware drivers installed are compatible. If you found this video on how to fix error code 0x8007007 be helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, and hit that like button. The links to the PC repair tool and a free guide on how to speed up your computer will be both linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.